Grand Junction is located in western Colorado, just at the foot of the western side of the Rockies. It's right in between the Colorado National Monument on the west side, and then on the other side is the Grand Mesa. It's a great place if you're looking for outdoor recreation. Hiking trails, horseback riding trails, a lot of bikes. So this area is a mecca for outdoor adventures, a place where it's easy to get lost and hard to be found. People are very friendly. Everybody knows each other. Grand Junction, Colorado, really has that small town feel where the community comes together in a crisis. And it's here that in the summer of 2007, I came to report on a story about a young 34-year-old mom named Paige Bergfeld. She had simply vanished. Frank, how would you describe your daughter? I think the word is effervescent. She's the kind of person when she comes in the room and meets you, uh, always gives you a big smile. She is special, devoted, very patient, very much everyone's friend and reaching out to help everyone, and just very loving. I'm Barbara. I was one of Paige's close friends. Paige is very much a soccer mom. <laughs> She um, had three kids. Paige was the most kind of outgoing, independent, stubborn at times, um, just great sister and, and terrific mom. I'm Carol, lived her home, and I knew Paige Bergfield for three and a half years, and she was just a wonderful person. I was just awestruck by her presence. I said, you're absolutely gorgeous. And she says, oh my gosh, I've, I haven't been told that in so long. She always is the kind of person that I think when you stand in front of her, you would feel that she thinks it's very special that you're here. I met her through Mom's Club at Grand Junction Chapter. I had heard a lot about her from the other members and I hadn't met her yet and so it was kind of like, oh, I get to meet the exciting Paige and she she's just as, you know, was just as wonderful as everybody said. The mom's group in Grand Junction was a way for mothers to get together. Whether the kids were there or not, it was a community for them. It was a safe space so that they could be themselves. Paige would have them over for pool parties entertainment and she liked to host the group once a year we had an official party and this was for the moms the last year we had the hollywood theme we had like the red carpet entrance and we had a big backdrop printed so you know we could stand and take pictures in front of it to document the evening there's actually home video that was taken of that mom's party, and Paige appears to be the star of the show. We're usually in our flip-flops and shorts, and that night we were all in party wear. She just lit up the room. Very dressed up, very classy. She just exuded that personality that attracted people to her. Paige appears to have it all, a beautiful home and three loving children. But she's divorced from her husband of nine years, Rob Dixon. Well, Paige was very concerned about finances, about meeting the bills. She was working probably about four or five different jobs. She developed a business of baby slings. She taught brain dance classes to little children. She really enjoyed that. Well, for the true honor of being able to work with your children, they have a lot of creative energy. And she would sell the Pampered Chef. Pampered Chef is a company that sells a line of kitchen supplies. In 2007, Paige was able to sell items out of her home to local customers and also be at home with the kids. The most important people in Paige's life, hands down, were her children. Everything she did was to provide for her children. 
She was working all of these jobs, but still showed up at the PTA meeting and, and at the parents' play groups and everything else. She's a really special person. On the morning of June 28th, Paige leaves the kids with her live-in nanny and promises her children that she would be back later that evening. I try to get in touch with Paige, and she didn't return my phone calls, which I thought was rather odd. Hi, it's Carol. Um, you can give me a call. Um, I'm at the house. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I thought she was just really busy, and I would hear from her later. But as the day turns into night, Paige not only doesn't come home, she wasn't even in touch. And this was completely out of character for her. Hi, Mom, it's me. I was just wondering when you get home, please answer the phone. Paige wouldn't be bad on her word. If she said she was coming home, she was coming home. Hi, Mom. I was End of message. I started to have a very sinking feeling that something just wasn't right. You said would be back when we're dark and you haven't even been back. Please go back quickly. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.